Caleb, you're going to have to convince me to bank on this, but you say that Tennessee can lose to Georgia and it's not an elimination game for the balls. Tell me why I should bank on it. Bank on it. Tennessee, Georgia is not an elimination game for the Vols because even if all chalk happens, there is a path for Tennessee to get to the college football playoff, but all chalk is not going to happen. Commercial Bank is your neighborhood bank. What makes us different from other banks? We understand that every customer has unique opportunities, challenges, and financial concerns. We don't expect you to fit into the same box as the next person or business. Whether it's purchasing a home, saving for your child's future, or planning for your next vacation, we're with you every step of the way to navigate life's big decisions. Commercial Bank. Life made better. All right, give me the reasons why, because you, you already pretty much said it, in my opinion. That is, this isn't going to go chalk. It never goes chalk. If it goes chalk, Tennessee could be left on the outside looking in. But the one thing I would bet on is it's not going to go chalk. There's going to be another upset either Ole Miss, Texas, or somebody that's in line right now as a potential two-loss team is going to lose a third game. Might be Tennessee, but I don't think it will with Georgia and Vanderbilt looming uh, in in the SEC. But things are not going to go chalk. They never do, Caleb. Yeah, but let's assume they do go chalk. Let's look at the playoff rankings. Oregon's one, Ohio State's two, Texas is three, Penn State's four, Indiana's five, BYU six, Tennessee seven, Notre Dame's eight, Miami's nine, Alabama's 10, Ole Miss is 11, Georgia's 12, Boise State is 13. Because Boise State would get an auto bid, right now Georgia's the one on the outside looking in. But, okay, so theoretically if Georgia beats Tennessee, Tennessee's probably going to fall to Georgia's spot. Is that safe? You, you, that's probably safe to say, right, Dave? Number yes. 12? Yeah, I can roll with that. All right. If all goes chalk in the end and Tennessee finishes 10 and 2, Ole Miss finishes 10 and 2, Georgia finishes 10 and 2, Alabama finishes 10 and 2. Well, here's the problem. Okay, Ole Miss beat Georgia. Georgia beat Tennessee. Tennessee beat Alabama, but Alabama beat Georgia. So who do you leave out between Tennessee, Alabama, and Georgia? It would be impossible really to to determine. So what are they going to do? They're going to kick Indiana out. Indiana's losing to Ohio State, guys. That let's just if chalk happens, then Indiana loses to Ohio State in a blowout. Do you think an do you think they're gonna keep an eleven and one Indiana team that didn't beat a team with a winning record in over any of those ten and two SEC teams? I'm guaranteeing you guys they won't. And that's that's why Tennessee's getting in because once Indiana's knocked out, that last SEC team, that extra SEC team, is going to bump in and then all of a sudden you have uh, the top 12. Now here's now, now I'm going to throw a couple caveats. You're right. It's not going to go chalk. It never goes all chalk. If it doesn't go all chalk, though, it could work against Tennessee in this regard. You could see Texas A&M upset Texas. If BYU loses the Big 12 title game, that could be two Big 12 teams in. If Miami loses to Clemson in the ACC title, both of them could get in. I'm not seeing that happen, though. But I will say this. The biggest fear is Texas A&M and Texas. But I think if Texas A&M beats Texas, then they're just going to drop Texas out and put A&M in because Texas has played a abysmal schedule. We had a question on the message board. Who do you think makes the SEC championship game? You're right, and you said this before the season. I hate it. That's been de-emphasized and doesn't have the same panache that it had earlier because of the college football playoff. But if I ask you to tell me, pre-Tennessee, Georgia, who makes the SEC championship game? And you got to pick two SEC teams. Who are you picking? Hmm. So I'll go ahead and tell you. I think it's the UTs. I think it's Texas and Tennessee. See, I don't because I think Texas A&M is beating Texas. That game's at College Station, mm-hmm. and Texas A&M is playing for a chance to tie. Dave, I think Texas A&M is beating Texas. If Georgia beats Tennessee, you're looking at – I'm dead serious about this – one, two, three, four, five, six. You're looking at eight teams finishing six and two in the SEC, all of them. I don't know how they do the tiebreaker for eight teams all finishing six and two in the SEC. I mean, well, it goes, it goes to head to head and then it goes. How do you do head to head with eight teams though? Right. Well, and then it goes, I, I know, and then it goes to um, common opponents 
So common SEC opponents, it's just going to get messy. I mean, it ultimately comes down to a coin flip, literally. And honestly, you're hoping you're on, if you're six and two and you're safe in the playoff, you hope you hope you're on the wrong side of that coin flip because you don't want to go to the SEC title. Why not sit at home? That's basically your buy. You're like, oh, you'll get the buy if you win the SEC title, and everybody wants to play for the buy. No, they don't, because not going to the SEC title is your buy at that point. I hate it, but it's true. The SEC championship game not being in it is somewhat of an advantage. Uh, just like we said that Tennessee getting out of games because they were blowing people out was an advantage because you get a little bit more rest. Tennessee's bye weeks have come at great times when they really needed them. So not playing in the SEC championship game is an advantage. It, it hurts my heart to say that, but it's a fact. Chattanooga Mortgage, congratulations. Your home search just got easier. Buying a home in Chattanooga has never been easier. Chat Mortgage, chat with 2T Mortgage.com, chat with 2T Mortgage.com. They helped me improve my credit and get the home that I wanted to get in. That's Chattanooga Mortgage. Uh, Caleb, so you think that Texas A&M beats Texas? But just in terms, if I just ask you who you think the two best teams are in the SEC, I know you've got an upset pick with AM beating Texas, but to me, I do believe, based off eye test, and things can shake out with a weird tiebreaker, and Georgia has the game at home, and I understand that, and AM may upset, but just on eye test, I would argue that the two best teams in the SEC are – Texas and Tennessee, especially with a healthy Nico Iamaleava. I think I might agree with you, but I think don't sleep on Ole Miss getting in because we both asked the question. The question with Ole Miss was whether or not they could play like a team with all this talent showing together. Well, Dave, they, they're playing like a team right now. I'm sure they've come together with that Georgia win. So because of the, how that they've come together, you have to say Ole Miss now is in that category. Okay, is this crazy to say that Ole Miss with a mercenary like team has a better team culture than Georgia, which has done it the old fashioned way and raised guys through their program and high school football recruiting? Is that crazy to say? No, it's not crazy to say at all. I I, I actually agree with you. Um, I think that I think possibly it's Look, say what you want about Lane Kiffin, but he's the only coach that could actually like lead a team of mercenaries and, and relate to the culture. Is that fair to say? He's the only coach that could pull that off. Yeah, and I think it's just make sure everybody gets paid, to be yeah. honest with you, which we've seen detail-oriented Billy Napier not be able to do. And that it, they may not be able to fire him because of that, but we'll talk to Pat Dooley with WRUF a little bit later but, in so, the program. Yes. So yeah, I wanted to 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 get to it. Do you think that Tennessee? Do you think if Indiana loses that any that they would be if they lose to Ohio State? Do you think they'll be ahead of any of those SEC teams? Assuming Ohio State beats the brakes off them. No, I think they'll drop precipitously, because again, it's a TV show, and I think that you would rather have the Golden Domes of Notre Dame, the Tennessees of the world, the the programs that have history. It's not fair to Kurt Signetti. It's not fair to the Hoosiers. But it's absolutely exactly. fair. You're the one who hated on Indiana all year. If they lose to Ohio State, Dave, I think it's totally fair to keep them out, particularly if they get blown out. Who have they played? Well, no, I agree. But on face value, an 11-1 Big Ten or SEC team, just like I say 10-2 and two SEC team, should, uh, should make it. But they haven't played anybody. So... That's where they are. By the way, he's a cocky fella. I watched an interview with him yesterday. Oh, he's very cocky. Yeah, he's like, uh, Google me. Um, so uh, Caleb, again, uh, thinks that the corp uh, the culture at the University of uh, – or Ole Miss is better than Georgia. I actually – I'm going yes. to go a step further. Here's my really hot take. I don't even think this is an elimination game for Georgia. Um, I think they have more of an uphill climb if they lose. But, Dave, if Georgia loses and then they finish 9-3, and three, given their schedule, I would take a 9-3 and three Georgia and put them in over a 10-2 and two Texas, an 11-1 and one Indiana, um, an 11-1 and one SMU. Um, 
maybe even a tennis or Texas A&M. I, I, I'm sorry. I would put Georgia in over all of those teams. Look at their schedule. Caleb's Hot Takes brought to you by Double D Piping. <laughs>